Good evening guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn easy method of placing bullard lights and post op lamps in the project let's get started here i have a sample project it is a landscape the 3d model i have made through extrusion volume okay then i combined everything to one object so that it's easy for me to select the things i will be uploading this dialogs evo file through the link in the description so that you guys can download it now first thing let's go and select one bullard light and then place some bullards here like different ways of placing the bullards so for that we'll go for seamless lighting and here we'll go for products and try to search for some bullards so here are different bullards let's select this one tomorrow bullard oh it has a nice name tomorrow then there are two different sizes available here one is with height 450 mm and one is with height 800 mm so we'll select this one with 800 mm then you have various uh, color temperatures in it 4000 3000 and 2700 let's select for 3000 kelvin here you can even see the dimension if you click on the image the image gets zoomed okay then on the left hand side you can also find the uld file so uld file is basically a combination of your is file and the 3d model okay now assume that in most of the cases you don't get the uld files okay so you have to make the 3d model and the ies now in this tutorial we are going to learn how to place an ies and 3d model in the simplest way we are not going to use the uld file so for that i will download the ies okay i'll keep this in the desktop come back to the project then we have to make the 3d model so here are the dimension basically it's a cylinder so we can use cylinder of 0.1 meters and 0.75 meters height we'll go here in the objects and select for the vertical cylinder okay now the height is 750 mm that is nothing but 0.75 mm and the diameter is 102 mm that is 0.102 mm and here is the pro tip so segments what is meant by segments so now the segments is 16 so if i place the object we'll zoom in so you can see the edges okay so this is not very smooth if you see here it's not a smooth surface because it has very less segments now say the same vertical cylinder i'm going to increase the number of segments say i will make it 30 segments and then i'll place the object now you can see it is more smoother than before so you can increase the number of segments to make the 3d model look more smoother the maximum segments you can place here is 64 like let's try for 65 65 no 65 is not possible the last limit is 64 place object now you can see it is more smoother than the previous one okay but uh, be very like considerate when you are choosing the segments because this also will have an impact on your calculations so we'll delete this one and for now we'll keep this one delete the previous one okay so we have made the base of this bullard now top portion is 0.5 meters 0 0.05 meters height and 0 0.2 meters in dia so we'll go back and select the cylinder again dia is 0.2 and height is 0 0.05 and then place the object okay now you have placed both the objects make sure it is exactly above it you can go and check in the front and side 
views of this drawing okay so it is exactly on the top of it then come back to the plan view okay and here you can find the tool copy and arrange select this one hold the shift key okay once you hold the shift key you can see that small plus sign below the cursor okay it means now you can select two or more objects so i will click on this object i will show it in the 3d model i will click on this object now you can see two objects are selected once this is done so we'll go back to the plan view so to this are not aligned okay so to align this properly you can select center y center x okay now it is properly aligned then group it okay then combine that's it okay your bullard is ready to add the texture you can go to the materials select color catalog under color catalog you can select any color black and white we'll use jet black double click to select the color minimize and then replace the material the 3d model of your blood is ready now we'll okay import luminar here is our is file double click to select next don't make any changes here reduce the height we'll make it 0 0.001 finish okay once your luminar is imported go to the plan view and then click and place the individual luminar go to the side views and check the position so it is at the top if you're not able to see the light distribution curve click on the display options and make sure this is on show light distribution curves if you switch this off the distribution curves will not be visible so make this on and then keep the move tool selected and drag it down okay then go to the plan view choose the tool copy and arrange hold the shift key and select even your 3d model okay now if you see my luminaire and the 3d model both are selected now group this now you can see this is one okay see if you select this it is one okay now once this is done the next steps becomes easy so here is the project i have wherein i'm going to place my bullard lights here okay say you have a very big project and uh, there is a bigger pathways and you need to place the same bullard lights in the straight line so keep your luminaire and the 3d model selected make sure you are in copy and arrange then select copy along a line okay select the first pos first point where you need to place the bullard like here is my first bullard i'll place it here and next point where you need the last bullard to be placed say i need to place my last bullard here i'll place it here then define the number of quantities of the bullards you require okay say in this whole space i need 12 bullards to be placed enter it manually then press enter once you enter you can even see the distance between the two bullards so the distance between the two bullards is 3.8 meters you can increase the number of bullards i'll make it 15 now you can see the distance is 3 meters okay we'll keep it follow curve shape 0 degrees we are not going to make any changes in the number of rotation and then apply okay now this is placed properly we'll go to the 3d model now I can see it's properly placed. Now say the same bollards you need to place in a curving position. Like here you have this curve. Okay. I need to place bollard in the same curving position. How are we going to do that? So we'll select the bollard. Make sure you are in copy and arrange. Okay. Then copy along a curve select this one and draw the curve we'll start from here such that my first bollard is here and i will start drawing a curved line
If you want to go one step back, you can press Ctrl Z. Once you are at end of the line, press right mouse click and then end. So you have finished drawing the whole line. Here too you can define the number of quantities. If I place 12 number of bullards, the distance between the two bullards is 1.9 meters. I can decrease the number of quantity. I'll make it 10 bullards so that distance between two bullards is 2.4 meters. Follow curve shape, no difference in the rotation offset and then apply. So you can check in the drawing my bullards are properly placed. I'll save the drawing. Once the placement is done, I'll go to the calculation objects and run entire project. The calculation is completed and you can see the nice light output from the bullard lights. Perfect. Even the bullards which we placed in the curving shape has the perfect light output. You can see this here. Nice. So this is how you're going to place bullards with 3D model and the IES files in the simplest way possible. You can try this method for your large scale projects. Now say I want to place a pole light, a post stop lamp or a street light in the large scale projects like n number of luminaires. So how easily are we going to do it? We are going to follow the same steps but now we'll not download the IES file, okay? We'll download the ULD file, we'll make the 3D model and then we'll group ULD and the 3D model. Let's see how it works. So for that, let's go and select some post-op lamps from Thorn Lighting. Go for Outdoor Lighting. Select Urban Amenity Lighting and you can select any luminaire from here let's select this one for now open link in new tab and then so we'll select something with 21 watts let's select the first one and then we will download transfer to dialogs it's dot uld you can click here and your uld file will be downloaded go to the dialogs evo light import luminaire file ULD, double click and place individual luminaire. You can check it in the 3D model. Okay, this is the ULD file. Okay, now I need to place the pole for it. So we'll make a pole, we'll go to the construction, go to the objects, select vertical cylinder, we'll keep the segments low maybe we'll keep it only 30 segments dia maybe we'll keep it for now point to itself and height will keep it four meters and place individual object okay let's make the position from zero to four i think the pole dia is more we'll make it 0.1 meter 0.1 meter bring the luminar down Oh, still the pole is much bigger so keep it 0 0.08 0 0.07 and 0 0.07 perfect we'll go to the plan view go to copy and arrange hold the shift key select the ULD file align it to the x-axis align it to the y-axis but don't align it to the Z axis. Now this is perfect and then group it, okay? Now you can see the pole lamp is perfect. Now we are going to arrange the same in the straight line. All you need to do is copy along a line. Say I want to place it here. I'll start from here and here. Then I need, say I want to place four things. I can mention it here, four distance between two poles is 11 meters follow curve shape apply okay now i'll just delete this extra one and you can see the post op lamps perfectly placed you can arrange the same in circular manner we will give the color to this okay 
then go to the calculation objects and run entire project your calculation is completed and here are the results you can check the thermal to know the lux values okay this is perfect so this is how the simplest way to place n number of bullards and post top lamps easily in your project in the next tutorial we are going to see now the distribution of both these luminaires is symmetric now if you select the bullard it is symmetric it is symmetric say i have a luminaire or bullard which has a symmetric beam angle like this is not it is not 360 degree it is going to uh, throw the light only on the front words like only at this part so how are we going to place such kind of bollards easily in the dialux evo will the procedure remain same or we need to do some modification this thing we are going to see in the next tutorial so guys this is it in this video you can download my dialux evo open file in the link below mentioned in the description if you have any doubts please ping me on linkedin instagram or Facebook, you can even write me a mail at sumaya.lightdesign.gmail.com. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me. Thank you.